Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you. I did not mean to be muted. It's Monday morning. I mean, give me a give me a break and give you a, a break. We're, we're, we're getting going slowly here. Good morning, everybody. It's it's your judge and maybe your dad, John Hodgman. I'm I'm wearing some daddish duds to be sure. My whaler's hat, my woolen CPO shirt that I got from the dead stock over at the Phantom Best Made page at Duluth Trading Company. R.I.P. Best Made. You fit my dad bod pretty well, <laughs> but now, I mean, there's no other, there's no place better for dad clothes than Duluth Trading Company, but best made as a, as a, as a portion of that, at least, at least it had a hipster label, but now it's just whatever. Good morning to everyone in the comments. My name is John Hodgman. This is the joy of zoning. I'm gonna switch over that to that banner. There we go. Oh, here, nope, that's not it. There we go. Welcome to the Joy of Zoning, a Sim City 2013 game with me, John Hodgman. Just for fun on a Monday morning, and also to support the Max Fun Drive, maximumfun.org/join. I'm not going to talk about that right now. We're going to start playing this game. We're going to start playing this game. So let's get into it. Let's add the game. This is the game, SimCity. We're all set to start a new city this morning. The name of the show is Joy of Zoning because every now and then on a Monday morning, rather than get going with my work, I like to zone out while zoning commercial, residential, and industrial zones on a SimCity map. And just draw, draw that map and build some happy little zones and some happy little cities. I'm going to uh, make, move some windows around here. And um, comment and mumble about them like Bob Ross in a sort of ASMR chill out thing. So here we are. And for the first time in the history of the joy of zoning, I'm going to be doing this in sandbox mode because I want us all, pardon me, Good morning. I want us all to be able to, I can't, I want us all to be able to enjoy as much of this as possible in the short time we have together. In the past, I played Joy of Zoning many, many days in a row and we built that city. We built that city on zones and zones. We were knee deep in the hoopla, it's true. But, you know, the hoopla is shallow right now. Because my streaming schedule for the rest of the week is going to be me just talking to Max Fun family members, whether it be fellow hosts, Judge John Hodgman uh, 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 staff, employees, or listeners just like you. So I'm going to play in sandbox mode. Now look, here are some of the maps we can work with here. Cape Trinity, Whitewater Valley. We're going to be in sandbox mode so we can build a true max fun utopia reflection atoll atoll i suppose serenity key if you like what you see let me know in the comments if you are watching on twitch or youtube or facebook you can comment and i can see it if you are watching on the uh service previously known as twitter i can't see it And if you are watching on YouTube, my recommendation is that you go ahead and go over to the Judge John Hodgman YouTube page, channel, I should say, because that's brand new-ish. And that's where we're showing all of the, all of the different, uh, that's where we're recording the episodes and putting them up on video on the YouTube channel. Whew, that was hard to say on a Monday morning. You understand what I'm saying, right? We're video, we're, 
we're, this is real dad talk, we're videotaping our records now and we're putting them up on the YouTube channel. Son, have you heard about this YouTube channel? Well, apparently you can put your own videos up like it's your tube. By the way, I'm a little scared to go to it, but someone's got to have Someone's got to have grabbed the don domain yourtube.com, right? Okay. Anyway, go over to at Judge John Hodgman Pod, all capital letters, slash streams if you want to go directly to the streams. Uh, and, um, and, you know, smash that like, smash that subscribe, smash that notification. I'll be doing different kinds of streaming all week here in honor of the Max Fun Drive. And I'll be updating my schedule uh, on on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll be streaming at noon Eastern. But on Wednesday, I'm going to stream in the morning like this, and I will be playing this game. But then, and then I will skip noon and stream in the afternoon. It, I'll make it'll be clear somewhere. So anyway, let's see what you people are saying. Which which one do you which one do you like? Yes, it's the real John Hodgman. Thank you. Well, John Hodgman, not Hogman, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. Well, Grayson Goal, you are my son. Thank you. Thank you, son. Cape Trinity, why not, says Jason Silbert. Titan Gorge, says Andy T. Germ. Titan Gorge feels like it would be on your tube. Yeah, who knows? Gross. Your tube. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. So what are we saying? Is Titan Gorge or Cape Trinity? Let's take a look again here. Cape Trinity is the first one. And this is your that's your starter pack. But I got un, so no offense, but I got unlimited cash. Kate knows all about this. Kate, I'm finally using all those cheats. Finally using all the cheats. Uh, Titan Gorge. Whoa, 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 what happened? Titan Gorge. Yeah, see, I, I'm an, I'm a coastal person, you know. Like these lakes and rivers, waterways, never do it for me. Kate votes for the archipelago. Which one is that now? Horizon Archipelago. Yeah, this is a very dramatic landscape. I know why you're voting for this, Kate, because it looks like the Azores. Looks like the Azores, doesn't it? Verdant jungle looks cool. I don't know. I could deliberate this all day. But here's the good news. Hey, can I just tell you what the good news is for a second? You know, <laughs> I did all my homework this weekend. That's right. I wrote my New York Times column. I, uh, what am I looking for here? Something a little bit better than this. This is better. I wrote my New York Times column. I prepped for today's recording of Judge John Hodgman. That's all stuff I normally do first thing Monday morning because nothing changes. I'm your dad. I'm your 50-something-year-old dad who is still putting off homework until Monday morning. When is that ever going to change? But this weekend, I did my homework. And I did a good job. So I get to play video games with you all morning. I don't know how long this is going to go. We're going to have fun for as long as you want to have fun. That's why I'm taking my time getting started. I hope that you did your homework because we're going to play video games this morning. On a Monday morning, no less. Video games. Good for us. Good for us. Okay, here we go. Back to this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Horizon Archipelago. This is a dramatic landscape. It is definitely, it is islands in the stream. That is what we are. Uh, and uh, it, it suits my, I've always wanted to, and it's got this wonderful railroad line here. We can make a couple of cities. With all the money, with unlimited money, this is where we're going to go. So, yes. Horizon Archipelago. The Azores win. Thanks, Kate. And we're going to name this in honor of Max Fun. Maximum. The Max Fun Drive is happening, and you can see the, I hope, the URL below. Maximum Fun. Maximum Fun. Max Fun. 
Max, what, what should it be? What should we call it? Max fun, something, uh, something Azorian. Let me check. Let me check the Azores Islands for a second here. Names of Azores Islands. File Flores Corvo, Graciosa, Santa Maria, San Miguel, Tercera, Tercera. None of these quite roll with Pico. Fetra, Max, Max Feteras. These are all, that's all Portuguese, obviously, because they speak Portuguese in the Azores. Uh, let's call it Max Fun. Max Fun. Oh, come on. Fun Pelago. There we go. And we'll be clicking onto sandbox mode. And that means unlimited fun. Unlimited fun, unlimited cheats, unlimited funds. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick this one right next to this dramatic railroad bridge. Because I want, and I don't care about natural resources because I'm going to get my money straight from the game. Just claimed play. Lapsang Landing is what it's going to be called for now. Uh, we're going to change the name of that. Isle of Max Fun is pretty good. Max Fun Dadland. <laughs> I'll save Dadland maybe for the name of the city. How about that, Tom B? Well, in the Azores, they just name stuff what it actually is, so that works. For instance, they named the beachfront city Praia because Praia means beach. Cheating is not legal in the Azores, Minneapolis, Mike. That's a lawful neutral country. It's not even a country. It's an independent department of Portugal. Direct flights from Boston to the Azores. Okay, look at this. This is our land here. I'm going to remember all my keystrokes. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. We haven't built a thing yet, so this is really smooth. And look, look out there. You see that? That's a beautiful view. All right, I've already started with a, a million, <laughs> a million simoleons. I'm going to pause this so it doesn't start yelling at me. Oh, wait a minute. And then to get more simoleons, I think it's control W. Yep, there we go. 100,000 more simoleons. Let's do some more. Two, three, four, five. Yes. Now, this is not something that we get to do at maximum fun. At maximum fun, the Judge John Hodgman podcast and all the podcasts on this network are supported primarily by you, the listener. 70% of our operating budget comes from, now let's see, can I increase profits too, right? There we go. So I'm just goosing the system. So I am artificially getting 20,000 simoleons per hour to offset all of the bananas spending that I'm going to do. I'm going to be a real tax and spend dad. Which reminds me, i got to raise taxes immediately. Well, why do I actually? Why do I have to raise taxes? I don't. Normally I would raise taxes right from the start to 11%. But I don't have to now because I have all the money in the world. Also, all of the buildings are unlocked. Also, that means we can do whatever we want. So let's fly up here. And let's see about building a road. That's the train tracks there. And they, right, there's that train trestle, dramatic train trestle. We're definitely going to build, like, so should we make this? What kind of city should we make this? This is our utopia. This is one of the many utopias we're going to build in the Max von Pelago. Max Funapelago, I think I should have called it. I guess I'll just start. Gen generation 2 thermal reactors. Or oh, there is one cheat that I need to turn on. Sim City 2013 cheats, unless Kate, you remember how to turn on maximum control net. In toggle on crime. Ground pollution, sewage, garbage, futurization, all in infinite control net. 
There we go. Did that do it? Did that do it? The technology wants it. control net requirements disabled. Good. That means that I can put in the most futuristic of dumb dumb things. Don't forget the clam shack, the two towers. What are people talking about? Hey Pearl, what's going on over here? Max fun. Practically makes no money from cheat codes. It's true. We have no cheat codes. What we rely on is your financial support, which you can offer if you are able for as little as $5 a month over at MaximumFun.org slash join. I'm already making money just by sitting here doing nothing. I might as well be a commercial landlord in Park Slope. Just sitting here keeping this, <laughs> keeping this beautiful piece of property empty like so many storefronts all over the city and probably your city too. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's start building. I'm going to do some wild stuff. I don't know why I'm being hesitant. It's just, you know, this is the thing. I'm always hesitant to get started because I feel like I'm making a commitment. But it's not. It's just a game. It's just a game. So I'm going to start making some wacky decisions, especially now since I'm in pure sandbox mode. Like, should I be making some circles? No, I don't like that. That came out more oval than I wanted it. I wanted it to be a perfect circle. Get rid of it. Let's do this. Let's make a perfect circle. How about in the middle, more or less? No. So we're going to start here. Oh, I got to go into Bob Ross mode with a perfect circle. And then I'm going to draw. through that like that. This is going to be great. These are all subway avenues, by the way. I mean, uh, streetcar avenues, the most expensive. And then I'm going to draw another perfect circle. Why not? It wants to snap to that. Hey, where'd you go? Is that the same size or larger? It's hard to tell. And then I'm going to draw on. OK, I understand. Please turn off notifications. Nope. Oops. Oh, but what if I did? Oh, that doesn't work. Got to go back to straight lines. And let's see if I can get another one going here. pretty wild, right? <laughs> I'll make this one a little, oh, make it this size. Good. Hey, get back there. Make this one a little smaller. How does that look? Bad? Probably looks pretty bad. <laughs> Well, look, it looks fine. And what we're going to do now is we're going to invite some people to move in. And what we're going to do is we're going to have, we're going to start our zoning. So let's zone. What do you think? Let's zone residential here. And I'm not going to fill in the corners because I want to make sure that there's room for parks and there's room for buildings to get bigger. Sims, 
the Sims, that's those are the citizens of this land, do not like to cross roads. So you have to give them shopping on the same side of this road. I'm going to give them shopping here. And here. Now we also need to zone some industrial pretty quicker. Johnny Hardhat over here is going to start yelling at me. While I'm building this, I can't keep quite a close eye on the chat. Yeah, this is the only music. Cozy Circle Neighborhood. Yeah, exactly right. Day two of hungover after a big weekend with lovely people, but checking in to say hello. I hope you're doing okay, Llama. As okay as possible. I hope you had a good time and was and celebrated. Uh, healthfully and happily. Oh, I got a check mark. Advanced fusion reactor researched. Good. I mean, the thing about playing in sandbox mode is I don't have to build up to anything. I can put in an advanced fusion generator or whatever right away. Like, for example, also, I wish I had a garbage atomizer. For you, Jealous, I'm putting in a garbage atomizer for you. Johnny Hardhat is the enemy of the Azores. Oh, what was I doing? Of course, I have to check my wind map. See which way the wind is blowing. Right, it's blowing that way. So I'm going to take this area over here in this corner and build some exciting industrial areas. And those are going to be squares. So watch this. This is going to be cool, I think. Let me get those high density streetcar avenue. I'm going to put some streetcars in this place for sure. Nope. Sorry. Straight line, please. Thank you. Look, so that doesn't seem to match the grid, does it? Is it just my angle? Like, I want it to be parallel. That does not seem parallel to me. That seems like trash. Maybe it's just my angle, but I don't like it. Oh, was it parallel to the dotted line? It's supposed to be because I'm holding down shift. I know you want power and water and so forth. You're going to get it, everybody. In the meantime, cry about it. Die of dysentery. Oh, see, that looks bad. I want this at a, kind of at a right angle here. How's that look? A little bit better? Yeah, to me that looks a little, still pretty janky. But that's the way it's gonna be. And, oh no, I just don't like it. I mean, if I've got unlimited funds, why don't I just make it the way I want, right? Maybe it's because the, the road is, or the terrain is a little bit funky. What if I st started it from here? That's probably a bad idea. This looks, again, that doesn't look good, right? That does not look parallel to the, I messed it up somehow. All right, that's fine. You know what? That's the joy and the and the terror. Maybe because it's coming off of here. I guess it's because the terrain is sloped down. Forget it, Jake. It's uh, it's the Max Fun Apelago. Forget it, Jake. Make some big s squares now. Whoa, too big. Get out of there. Try that again. Make a square like 
this. There we go. That looks terrible. The square looks good. That connecting road looks bad and it's gonna go. Sorry, once again, luckily I did all my homework. Goodbye. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the squares over here. Again, these are Maybe that's a square too, that's too big, maybe. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oops, nope. I wanna do a line. I wanna emulate what I have over there, but it's circles and squares. And that's gonna go all the way up there. And then we'll do another square. Square, please. How about right about here? That? Well, or let's oh, start it here. There we go. This will make this will be what I want. none of this is connected that kind of looks not too undumb not too terrible and we do have to connect these roads here so let me again I get this high density streetcar avenue and let's see if what that does. oops not a square thank you line if you don't mind I don't mind a line It's not ideal, but it could be worse. <laughs> so dumb. Why do I leave this all open like this? Okay, let's put in some industrial now. Zones of industrial. Boom, boom. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna boom some in over there too. Sure, boom. You can always change that. So the wind's gonna blow that away. Now, meanwhile, we need some electricity. Now, we have this fusion power plant generates massive amounts of clean power at a huge cost. A fusion reactor requires a jump start of power from an existing source to begin. Hmm. And then we have a wave power plant, but there's nowhere to put that because I don't have direct access. And then we have the solar power plant. Of course, the wind won't matter if the tech is high. Yeah, thanks a lot, Kate. Thanks for pointing out my flaws as usual. No, you know what? I learned from you. What if the parts in the middle are parks? Great idea, Michael. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, there are. I am looking for a crop circle vibe. Thanks, Blues Mom. Triangles? I know what you mean, Jealous. Triangles, that would be fun. It should be X's and O's. Do you know what I mean? Hugs and kisses. Okay, look at all these complainers over here. We want some power. Uh, I, I mean, I think it would be fun if it were X's and O's, hugs and kisses to show how much we love our maximum listeners. Maybe I'll add, add one in over here. What happens? Oh, what kind of power should we do? Let's do solar power, right? We're all dreamers in, in the maximum fun world. And it doesn't matter where we put the solar. Although you can see that I cannot totally expand unless I put it right there in the middle. Put a solar power field there. We can always replace it later and we need water. 
buildings need water and we need sewage. So what I want to do is I want to look at our water table. Water, water everywhere and not, and no memory of, okay, it's that. Okay, look at that. See where all the water is? So I could put, I can put water. Oh, we're gonna get a garbage, a sewage sanitizer, but we wanted a garbage atomizer, right? It's a ground scrubber. I don't see where the garbage atomizer is. Okay, water, that's what we were doing, I apologize. And the most advanced thing we can put for water is a water pumping station. And probably a good place for that is right here. And since I have all of this, what is this frame? What's that? I'm going to go ahead and add a filtration pump. get rid of this normal pump and add a filtration pump in its place. There we go. And then what I'm going to do, this is a trick that I learned, is I'm going to take my sewage treatment plant, sewage sanitizer, that's a direct conversion of wastewater into potable. Oh, I should have put this in. Sewage treatment. Well, this is, all right, I'll just put the sewage treatment plant right here next to it, you see. And what that does, the sewage treatment plant will treat the sewage and dump the sewage back into the water table. But then the filtration pump will make, uh, make it clean. And in the meantime, let's, let's amp up our power here with some cool looking stuff. First... I'm gonna get the solar power amplifier going. Second, I'm gonna get rid of these old school panels and put in these super cool arrays because these are cool. One there. One there. And one there. Woo, here we go. That'll, that could give us enough power for a while. The power and the water will come online. We've got sewage taken care of. We don't have a city hall yet. And we only have 342 residents. This is a small town. So let's do some zoning. It is called the joy of zoning after all. Sewage sanitizer also makes water. I know, I just realized that, Kate. Thank you. I don't need a filtration pump. I understand. I now have unlimited control and I can use all the fancy pants stuff. I'll replace it later. So cool. Thank you. At least for that, a little bit of approval, Kate. Oh, I had never used them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Llama, is there stuff going on in the chat that you don't like? Let me see. Let me let me log into Twitch. Oop, not that. Now you know what? I'm logging into Twitch. So I can make you a moderator over on Twitch. Is that what you wanted? And I gotta enter a code. Hey, I'm here to play games, not play games, not play ed games. Everyone just be good to each other in the chat, okay? I'll figure out another time to do it. I just don't, I don't wanna do it right now. I wanna spend my time playing games. I did my homework. I did my homework already. So we're gonna zone more, right? We're gonna zone. And we're gonna do a little of the same right down here in this circle. Circles are terrible ways to build. I mean, these things are all designed to snap to a grid, not do this. But I'm doing it anyway. Because I never get to I never get to build funny roads, you know, because. Let me do 
lines on this area here. This is, I don't want this here. I want this blank, blank, blank. Yeah, blank that out, please. Oh, don't do that. What did I do? mistake and I got some rubble to clear away there what am I doing what am I doing everybody I'm zoning and I'm having a good time and I regret nothing Circle. I'm going to add some green in here. And what I'm doing is kind of putting the green and the zones where the buildings have enough room behind them so that they can get kind of big. You know what I mean? I'll add some commercial here. And Let's see if my dream will come true. Is there room for an elite mega tower in this circle? Not quite. <laughs> oh no, this circle is not quite big enough. I really wanted to put an elite mega tower in there. So let's get while the getting's good. Goodbye. Let's knock it off. We'll get. Bigger. We'll get a bigger circle going. This we'll go back to the road configuration. Not enough shops. How about you shut up? Johnny Hard Hat. You can't yell at me. Unlimited funds. No? Unlimited. There's a little nub in here that I don't like. There. Alright, let's try this again. Unlimited funds. Maximum funds. That's on message. All right, make a bigger circle. That ought to do it. That ought to do it, right? No, I guess it doesn't want to do it. Certainly, that's not what I wanted. Why is this at a different angle? You know? Already a setback. No, thank you. Straight, please. There. Let's connect these roads properly. One like that, one like that. Good. And once more onto the breach. My dream come true. Can I fit one in there? Oh no, because it needs to snap to the road. Well, it's big. Mm. I want to put a mega tower in that circle. Why can't I have what I want for once? Kate, what am I doing wrong?
put a little nub road in the middle for it to attach to. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to try a lot of good suggestions. Thank you very much, Anne Heathen. Thank you very much, the Turg. It's not flat enough. All right. Let's see here. What if I put a little nub road? Should we try it? Let's try it. What if I took a little nub road? A little, little, little high density. No, not a circle, thank you. Just flatten that out like that. Now, will that do it? I wonder. Um, can you tell me what's happening here? Why are we, why do we not have power? Is it nighttime? What's going on? Water facility closed. Oh, right. There's not enough workers. That's the problem. It all gets sorted out. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Nub road for the win. What am I putting in? An elite mega tower with apartment level for medium. Yeah. Yes. Yes. There we go. What a frigging utopia this will be. Sorry to use bad words. Producing enough power. It's all fine. It's going to be fine. City needs power. I'm tired. What's going on? Why is our... This is producing power, my friends. Charging voltaic cell. First of all, I don't want to sell any power to the neighbors. What? What's going on? Where's my water? Close needs... Oh, it's all because there's not enough power. All right, guess what, everybody? We got to go old school here now. Oil power plant, boink. Let's get that powered up. Look how happy, look how happy the industrial section is. And it's, it's nighttime here in Lapsang Landing, soon to be renamed Max Funds Island. density road in here to the back door. Oh, I cannot give it to the I can't get in the back door of this place come on oh look at that there is a back door what's going on here here it is oh uh, it's just like a walk around area people gotta really walk around all right but I can I can connect this road that That'll probably mess up traffic pretty good. And I can do this. And um, what if I were to do something pretty bananas here, but good. And what if I were to get rid of this road? What are you yelling at me? Abandoned buildings? Okay, we'll take care of it. I'm drawing my perfect map for once. For once, I'm drawing my perfect map, okay? What if I put... I have max funds for once. Like, let me live it up a little bit, please. Yeah. See that? I love that. Now... People just drive straight on home. Love it. Population 3,900. Let's do some more zoning. 
we got time. Not enough shoppers. That means we need some more. We need some more residential. Let's residential it up. Let's put some residences over here. Put some residences over here. And can we build a city hall? Yep, we can. Let's put it right here. I love it. People are going to love this. There we go. And let's build some more medium wealth. Medium wealth apartment level. Let's go. People excited about that. And this is weird spot here. So let's put in some uh, medium wealth uh, parks and stuff. Nature nature. What's this? Community park. That'd fit in there pretty well in there. I want something a little smaller. I want to go in those little spots. Medium path park. Go in there nicely. But you know what? I don't love that either. Hmm. You know what I'm going to put in here, don't you? Tourist attractions. <laughs> this is totally going to be the tourist attraction area. Oh, it's perfect. This city is already perfect. I'm loving it. Can't love it more. But I gotta find something to put in the... Let's put some sports. Uh, there. That. That's an exploratorium. They're going to like that. And what about a skate park? That's too big. Can we fit a skate park in there? Or a hot air balloon park? That, this is the perfect spot for a hot air balloon park. Well, wait a minute. The wind is coming this way. So we don't want the hot air balloon park there because we want the balloons to go over the baseball field. It's a pretty nice baseball field area, wouldn't you say? What is that? Baseball or soccer? Soccer, please. Sure. What fun that'll be for some people. And what about a small flower plaza? Put that there. Double walkway. Medium sculpture garden. Plum Bob Park. Everyone loves. Eh, eh, not that great. Too big. Want something a little bit more formal, if you will. Art theater won't fit in there. Large fountain park. Small reflecting pool park. Will that fit? No. I need something to go. Small fountain park. That'll go right in there, won't it? What a neighborhood. I bet you I can fit in a little tennis court in there, too. Mm, oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Tennis, anyone? Sure, why not? Can I fit a basketball court in there? Is that going in there? Oh, no, it's going up there. That's good. That's good. We did it. We really parked that right up. Oh, right. I forgot about the rubble and the fire and the, and the need for... Public health. Why did I forget about the need for public health? Uh, we'll probably want to make that a hospital relatively central. Let's put that hospital. Let's put a real super duper hospital right here. Boink. And let's put a big old fire station next to it. Well, I kind of feel like I don't want that. I kind of, well, yeah. Put a fire station there. Or there. I think we kind of want it to be more closer to the industrial area. So we can put it right in there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Fire's burning out of control here. We'll add the fire tower. We'll add a fire drone hanger. I didn't realize this, but we can have fire drones going all over the neighborhood, flying above, and also a hazmat garage. Ooh, what fun we have. And a fire marshal office? Nah. Helipads, please. Thank you. Thank you, helipads. Four helipads. How are we doing on money? We have almost a million simoleons. We could use some more. One, two, three, four, five. Half a million, please. Please. Maybe I hit the wrong button. One, two. There we go. Three, four, five. And... Let's boost our profit once more. I want to be making more money per hour. All false economy. Right? What, what can we do here with this? What are you yelling at me about? Not enough shoppers. Go eat me. Let's get this going. First of all, a sign. Sure. Meta drones. Drones from the Omega Company factory are converted into meta drones. As they arrive at the meta drone hangar, meta drones fly to treat injured Sims. Oh, no, forget that. That's boring. Let's add an emergency room and a patient. What's this? What did I just add? Diagnostic lab. Forget it. Patient rooms, please. Running out of patience. Oh boy, oh boy, am I a dad or what? What's this? Diagnostic lab? Sure, put that on top. What's this? Surgical center? Why not? Load it up. And what's this? Wellness center? Blech. What's this? Ambulance bay? Yes. Ambulances. And guess what? It's all paid for by cheating. How are we doing for water? We need some more water. And, you know, I adore you, Kate, but I am putting in those filtration pumps for now. And I'm just going to build out my sewage treatment, too. Why not? I mean, it costs nothing. Grab a beer. It don't cost nothing. There we go. Oh, and garbage. What are we going to do about the gar- Oops. <laughs> Some rubble. Let's clear this away. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to unzone this stuff. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this to be my garbage area. So, ground scrubber extracts ground pollution and radiation. I don't need that. Uh, I do want a garbage dump. Here. Yep. Just like so. Please. And where did we find that, gar that garbage atomizer anyway? Here it is. Garbage atomizer. I told you I would get one for you. Superheated plasma atomizers resolve the quantum uncertainty, confirming that no, the garbage is not there. And that gets rid of 1.8 tons of garbage per hour. That's even better. So here we go. Atomize me. And again, uh, that's probably enough. Let's put in some garbage trucks for collection, please. Oh, Johnny Hardhat, you can't yell it. You can't, hey, my son, this is your dad. You cannot yell at me anymore, Johnny Hardhat. I got it all under control. Five garbage trucks going, a couple of garbage atomizers. Should I put in some recycling? Well, maybe I can fit that in over there. But meanwhile, let's rezone some of this industrial area. 
Do you think these drones are actually coming out of here? Let me see these drones. What's happening? <coughs> Excuse me. Since they're working, what can I tell you? Well, do we have enough fire helicopters? Yes. Everything's in the gray. We don't have any education. We got a lot of rubble. And I wanted to rezone some of that industrial. So let's go ahead and do that. That's all industrial and that's fine. Let's go ahead and add some more industrial right here. All right, Johnny Hardhat says, not enough shoppers, we need more residential. I don't blame you for saying so. So let's please add more. What's going on? Why are you unhappy? What's, what's your beef? Telling our friends to move in. Well, they seem happy to me. Start construction, more residential there. And uh, let's take advantage of this. There we go. People will like to live here. to shop here although we currently have not enough shoppers so maybe I'll hold off on zoning that just give them a little a little taste of commercial squalor over here and let's go ahead and make that residential too and over here too there we go And I'm not going to be able to build, there's not going to be a lot that can happen in these little corners. So I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Pardon me, that was gross. Right, we don't have any police. Ugh. I hate building police stations. Well, I'd rather bulldoze some stuff first. This is now feeling inelegant to me, right? Do we really need more power? Running low on oil. Pardon me. Yeah, so this energy solution is not ideal. And this layout does not feel particularly ideal. Remember this hospital that I built? Like, I kind of want it to go away now. Because I kind of want, I kind of want, well, I don't know that I have to do that, but let's get rid of, let's add, what was it you wanted so badly, Kate? Not garbage, sorry, sewage. A sewage sanitizer is better over here, I feel like. that and let's get rid of this yep, I'll do it. and the solar power plant did not pay off for me but maybe I have enough energy now to create fusion fusion power plant 
that's not a good place for it. B and C. Pretty clearly. I'm saving that for... Perfect squares are letting me down. But you know what? Let me take a look. How many? I mean, honestly, if I need another one, I'll just build another one. That's pretty good. I can add modules to that. Let's speed up and see how long this takes to get going. I have unlimited control net, so this should not be an issue. Ignite, oh, here we go. One, reactor off, ready to charge. This is very exciting. We're just about an hour in to the joy of zoning with me, John Hodgman, of SimCity 2013 play along if you're just joining us. I'm building a city on the Max Fun Apelago in honor of Max Fun Drive. And let me go over here for a second so I can see you. I agree with you that this is a perfect way to start Monday morning because we all need a little zone out a little and zone commercial, residential, and industrial before we get our work on for the week. Thank you very much for joining me here. It's been an hour and I did my homework over the weekend instead of on Monday morning, so I get to do this for at least another hour. I don't start recording Judge John Hodgman until 12.30 p.m., so I will absolutely have to stop at noon. I absolutely have to stop at noon. That persistent chat overlay covers a lot of the interf interface. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to turn that off. Thank you, Smart. And I hope, and I hope that you're all being kind to each other in the chat so that Llama doesn't have to bring out the mod sword because that would take a long time for me to set that up and I don't feel like it. So be good to each other in the chat, please. Uh, very quickly, I'm just going to say, hey, I want that. I want this. Hi, here I am. Very quickly, I'm just going to take this moment before igniting the fusion reactor that we're all excited about. To say, hey, I'm your dad. And I'm asking you. There's a podcast called Judge John Hodgman. Now, you've all supported me and the podcast together and individually in so many ways. And there are a lot of things and causes that you can spend your money on right now. And I know stuff's expensive. So I'm just saying very casually, if you have the means and you would like to support the Judge Sean Hoffman podcast and help us build our budget for the rest of the year by becoming a supporting monthly member, starting as low as $5 a month, this is the time to do it. It's Max Fun Drive. There's a URL down there, maxfundrive.org slash join. Kate just signed up their dog. Officially a three membership family. Kate's also been donating a membership for each live stream that Kate has watched, which is wonderful. And Cranky Femme says, I boosted yesterday with that heart-stopping Sigourney Weaver and Alien avatar. Thank you very much. That's my... This is my incredible wife, Sigourney Weaver. What if I were your dad and Sigourney Weaver were your mom? I'd say you had pretty good. I think we'd all win, except for Sigourney Weaver, sadly. In any case, MaximumFun.org slash join. If you're like Kate and you want to give a membership to someone as a gift, you can do that too. Maybe someone who can't, can't afford to be a member right now. And what you get with your membership is mostly the satisfaction of supporting work that you support, supporting financially work that you support emotionally. When you are able to do that, it is a great gift to yourself. But, you know, if you can do it, whatever. You also happen to get bonus episodes for all of the Max Fun shows and a lot of crossovers that are not available to the non-membership, including, and I... I I promise you, we've been working on it, Janet Varney and I, doing a 
podcast on models of the states. We've locked in, I think, about 10 states so far. That's, that's a big project. But also including uh, 30 minutes of me pretending to be Tom Waits. Something we just, we just hit our goal of five, 6,000, excuse me. New and upgrading and boosting members on Friday. And so we released into the wilds of the bonus content feed me performing songs in the style of Tom Waits. And he then says, happy I was able to boost this year. And by boost, that just means maybe a couple extra bucks a month on top of your um, existing membership. And that's very helpful for us meeting our goals. John Hodgman playing SimCity while wearing a whaler's cap. This was not on my Monday bingo card. Well, bingo, here we are. And to answer the question in the chat, that is a picture of me as the Moxie man that Moxie Soda sent me. When does early 20... Oh, that's it. Reed Nasir. Reed, I can't... Reed is playing a whole different game right now. So, in any case... That's all I'm going to say about the Max Fun Drive for now. I'd really be grateful if you went over to maxfundrive.org slash join. I will be live streaming again. Uh, it'll be another Max Fun family meeting tomorrow at noon. I believe that Dan McCoy is going to join us from the Flophouse, and we're going to talk a little bit more. He's got some Edward Gorey stuff that he wants to share with me, and I cannot wait. We'll be doing SimCity again on Wednesday morning. And then Jesse and I are doing something fun live stream that afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, Friday, I haven't set the benchmark yet. I haven't figured out what's going to trigger this event. But if we hit a, a particular benchmark on Friday, the last day of the Max Fun Drive, Jordan Morris and I are going to live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern, live, shooting the breeze. That's our annual cheese podcast that we do every year at the Max Fun Drive. But this time we're going to do it as a live, live stream shooting the breeze if you want to see two guys with beards eating cheese and there's something special about it this cheese that's gonna be spicy i mean literally it's just gonna be really hot cheese it's gonna be fun i'll let you know about that benchmark tomorrow i don't know what it is but for the meantime maximumfund.org slash join if you if you can't if you can't up your membership or you can't afford to join i get it completely if you, if you like the podcast and the network and you still want to help out, just spread the word on social media. Hashtag Max Fun Drive. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. And now, let's ignite this fusion reactor finally. Here we go. I hope everything is not... Uh, okay. Ignite fusion re... Well, hang on. I want, I want you to be able to see it. Oh, did I take the... Um, Got to make sure that... Right. Okay. You can see it. All right. Here we go. One, three... Two, one, night. Acquiring power for fusion reaction, accelerating particles, stabilizing conduits, venting containment, charge failed, need more power. <gasps> How dare you? We need more power. First, let's not sell this power to neighbor. Second, let's buy some oil immediately. Third, Let's add, we're going to get rid of this thing anyway, so let's add a combustion turbine generator. Get that going. And let's add, I don't know what, more solar, more solar. Let's amp up the power so we can start this fusion reactor. More solar, more solar. Money doesn't matter. Playing in sandbox. It's the sandbox drive. Come on, come on. Are we online? Are we going? Let's get it all working. Is the oil plant working? Oil plant is working now. You can tell because the, the dirty Vapors are coming out of that. 600 millo megawatts excess. Well, is that enough to start our fusion reactor? Where is our fusion reactor? That's a sewage sanitizer. 
because we got to start building some uh, charge fails. Need more power. We got to start building some uh, tourist traps. Okay. Okay, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ignite. Come on. Come on. It's getting there. Yes. Yes. Look at all the excess power we have going. Woo. Holy moly. Holy guacamole. Things are getting a little out of hand. So much power. It's like the, the it's like Emperor Palpatine himself is running this thing with some lightning fingers. All right, there we go. Now, how are we looking? Let's take a look at the big picture here. Terrific, terrific. Gray across the board, you may notice. Johnny Hardhat's got nothing to say to me right now. Nothing to say to me. I'm enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying it. It's maximum safe. Didn't take 10 years. Yep. Didn't take 10 years to permit. Dark side energy. Let the hate flow through me. It's not hate. It's love. It's maximum love. I know. <laughs> I know. Look, why have I, I mean, why have I been playing this game fair all this time? Why haven't I been playing it fair when I could have been cheating all along? I mean, that's sort of sort of the story of the past uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24, the past eight years. The American Awakening. Why have I been playing fair all along when cheaters always win? That's all I'm going to say about that. You know what's fair? Maximum fun. Employee-owned cooperative, creator-owned shows. Listener supported, it's fair. It makes sense. If you love it, support it. That's all I got to say, if you can. All right. I love this fusion reactor so much, I'm going to destroy this solar power field because I don't need it anymore. And what I want to do is get rid of it. Yep. So I can build a road right from my town hall, right all the way down here. And if I have to rebuild that hospital, I will. And I'm also going to get rid of this oil power plant. Don't need it. See you later, sucker. I'll do it. I got a garbage atomizer over here working. I have no recycling right now. Now let's see what our energy situation is. We're still 162 megawatts of excess power. So we're going to add a, rea a standard fusion reactor. How about an advanced fusion reactor? I can afford it. Here it comes. Boom. How about another one? I don't care. I'm cheating. Let's cheat. Boom. There we go. There we go. These guys have yet to come online. There they go. Now it's happening. <laughs> 5,000 megawatts excess. We have energy for days now. Now, sure, my profit has gone down. Excuse me, budget panel. Sure, my profit has gone down, but I can fix that. Boink, boink, boink. Just more profit, please. Now, you know, when there are unlimited funds, you know who's going to come around begging for money. Law enforcement. There's a crime wave. There are two criminals at large. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put a small police station. I am. I'm going to do it. Where is the crime happening, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't want those criminals to be at large. I don't. I don't love this huge police precinct. 
a simple a simple neighborhood police station is fine for me. And I'm gonna put it there. Put it right there. But one of the things that will drive down crime, of course, is education. nose sound that was disgusting. Sometimes I forget that, that I'm talking to you live. Sometimes I forget that I'm talking to you live over the world. Medium wealth shoppers needed. Okay. Any other, any other things you want to yell about? Unemployment crisis. Gotcha. Okay. Can I just draw this road, please? Johnny Hardhat for a second. For heaven's sake. I want to get this right in the middle. Right there. Yep, yep. Boom. There we go. There we go. What a delight. What a delight. We have an unemployment crisis. We have this empty spot here which we can fill with more industrial. That'll be jobs. I'm a job creator, okay? Don't let them tell you different. I'm a job creator. City hall module available. They're all available to me, my friend. This is sandbox mode. Let's name, rename this town for heaven's sake. Why don't, I'm gonna deputize. Well, no, I'm gonna call it, um, Sandbox. No. Max Ventropolis. Look, I'm workshopping it, okay? What's your complaint? Always, always. 17 crimes committed per day. All right, you know what? Let's go to it. Let's make this police station a little bit more robust, okay? But pretty soon, I'm gonna have so much education in this town. And will I be adding a superhero? Of course I will. But pretty soon, I'm gonna have so much education in this town, it'll be perfect. Well, I had some jail cells. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst part of the game, honestly. Can you imagine? Yeah, I'll put a little sign here. A little flag, why not? Okay, look, that's all, that's all you need. You don't need any Humvees, okay? That's all you need. Okay. Let's keep this high rise rising. What's the problem? Why are you complaining over here? What's this? Our kids need education. Our kids need education. That's what we were talking about all along. Education. Let's add an education level. Why not? Start construction. Boink. <laughs> Now you get to go to elementary school in your apartment building. And other people can go there too. And I just rubbed my nostril because I'm gross. Uh, but we do, so that's an education level, but let's go ahead and add a community college into this mix. Because that's bang for your buck education style. I will, I will build a university city after this one. How can you be talking to me? Low on drones? Oh yeah, because I don't have an Omega Co factory building the drones. I should get rid of that and just put in whatever. Okay, but that's not what I'm doing. Right now I'm doing education and we gotta do some public transport. 
Community College will go. Oh, I didn't see that. Right there for sure. That will increase technology level of all industrial buildings. And why not add a, you know, well, I'll add a wing later. When, uh, as soon as this hippie starts yelling at me, no school bus stop. Really? Okay, everybody. I'll add some school bus stops. That's so that they can go to this school over here, you see. So, I'll add one here, one over here, one here, and one, one here, one over here. Uh, what else am I going to do? One over here. Because I don't like to cross the street. And that's stupid, but it's true. And we have a little bit of residential going on over here. So let's get some there. And we'll have some more residential, I think. I mean, what we need are people. Sorry to say it. What we need are people. Okay. So right now, everyone... Who, and I guess I'll put one over here. Why would I put one over here? They can just get, get in there. this it's education level what can I do what can I add nothing what are they what are they upset about our kids need education our kids need education all right that'll come online in a minute now let's get rid of these stupid drones I hate Omega Corp stuff I got hang on. I got to tell you. I just got to check in with you about something real quick. This is not about the Max Fun Drive. I just need to check in with you about something real quick. So the school buses are descending down from the tower. It's absolutely true. I don't make the neighborhood kids drive to the mega tower. The mega tower picks them up. You saw the school buses going down. What I wanted to say was I did, and I'm gonna. Your dad's going to swear for a minute here. I did fuck with Omega Corp one time. There was, there's a video on YouTube of, I think it was a guy who had created the ultimate Omega Corp city. And one of the things that he did, I, I might try this, but he figured out the way to do it so you can maximize profits with the Omega Corp. And you made a disgusting looking city. Because Omega Corp is high pollution. You need like five hospitals in there. Because people are getting sick all the time. But one of the things he taught me how to do was to build a road over a road. Like that. And then over that, another road. Look it up on YouTube. Ultimate Omega Corp City. If you want to see how it's done. I, I followed him, you know, I followed him point by point. Like it was a needlepoint instruction. And it was a very profitable city. That's the way to do it. Yeah, like Atlanta. <laughs> That's right. All right, let's get back to this. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to get rid of... Where's my fire? Fire situation over here. I don't, I don't see any drones operating. Let me check the drone map. That's how, I, that's how I would know. Like, are there any going around? No. So we're going to get rid of rid of these drone things. Let's see. Wait a minute. Uh, all right, I'm just going to leave it alone. Fire seems to be in control or out of control. Probably I should at least put in some more like fire trucks. I mean, you can't go wrong more fire trucks. That's all I got for you. Um, maybe I'll get rid of 
one of these drone things and put in another just fire garage there. There we go. That seems a little bit more balanced. Plus I got all these helicopters. That's what I used to call them when I was a little kid, helicopters. Because adorable. 10.30 a.m. I'm definitely going to keep going. Thanks for sticking around. It's Judge John Hodgman playing SimCity 2013. These people are still upset. Our kids need education. Our kids need, yeah, deal with it. You're going to be fine. Don't worry about it for one second. Just more apartments, please. That makes everyone happy. And I guess I should add a school bus stop. I mean, people drive themselves to the community college. I learned that from Kate. But I just feel like I, we ought to have a bus stop there. Maybe somebody wants to get an education, doesn't have a car. I don't know how it works. How big is a recycling situation? Oh, that's That would be recycling over there. I don't want to put that there. Put that up in here. Yeah, I could put a recycling center in there. Why would I do it? Well, I am. That's what this is for, recycling over here, right? I kind of I'm kind of loving this layout, honestly. All right, time for some transportation. If we want this to be a tourist city, we need to get some tourists in. And that means adding public transportation. First of all, mass transit. First of all, I, I spent all that money on these streetcar avenues, so I might as well put in some, some streetcars and some stops. That's just for, that's just, that's just common sense. And I guess I'm going to put the streetcar depot where? Uh, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not, after all? That's going to send streetcars all over the place. Sound a little bit more residential, by the way. This is a nice neighborhood, so it should be. should be, you know, people should live here. Uh, even a little bit more. And even a little bit more. And a little bit of shopping for you. How about that? Uh, how about a little... I know mass transit, red. People are trying to get around. How about a little park, though, to separate? Uh, just a little something to separate the the industrial from the, I mean, the commercial from the residential. That'll be nice for them. I don't know. Maybe I'll destroy it all later. And maybe I'll add them a, a little a little park up here too. I mean, why not? Why not a plaza? Why not a enjoyable plaza? This is a fancy one, right? This is the Millennium Plaza next to the town hall. And then how about oh, right, we're gonna put we're gonna put a balloon park in here. Uh, put a plum, plum, plum bob park over here. Well, you know, we can do that here too. Or here. Let's do it. Let's do one right here. That's good. Get those houses developing. You know what I mean? Let's get them developing. And how about sports. Oh, this is, this is what we're looking for. Hot air balloon park. 
So remember the wind blows, why am I showing this to you this way? The wind blows straight down this map. What did I, what is that? A building? So if I want some, there we go, look at that. That's gonna be terrific. People are gonna love this hot air balloon park. I can't wait to watch those balloons. Oh, so exciting. I love having sandbox mode in my life. Wait, did I put a Millennium Park here too? That was a mistake. Or was it? I might as well zone some residential there. Or, 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 bear with me, what if, excuse me, let me dezone that, that whole thing there. Uh, I'm sorry about this, everybody. We just started building a house here. Look at these little houses. I mean, maybe it's time for an elite, another elite mega tower. Who's in the, oh, public transportation. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's time for another elite mega tower. Do you? Me too. With a mall level, that's medium wealth. What are my options? Skybridge, we're going to get to that in a second. Elite mega tower with apartment level, with a mall level. We're gonna do an elite mega tower right here with a mall. <laughs> it's gonna be so great. And I'm gonna put a school bus stop there so that these bougie kids can go to school. <laughs> And they're gonna love this park. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, public transportation, that's what's in the red. No streetcar stops. Hey, I should be less dumb. First, here's our streetcar depot. Let's take a look at it, please. Very nice. Let's add a bunch of streetcars. Right now we have three, I can add a bunch more. Boink, boink. This will help people get around to their jobs and stuff. Three, four, five. Three million simoleons, I can't go wrong. <laughs> I'm definitely falling into the fallacy of like, I started with a lot of money and I've just made more money based on the money that I got and artificial, artificially inflated wealth. And I'm like, I'm really good at this. I'm really good at making money. And I'm virtuous too, because I have money. The worst. People are the worst. Capitalism has its pros and cons. What am I doing? Why have I forgotten how to do this? but we do need streetcar stops. I'd be a fool if I didn't put a bunch of streetcar stops in here. So here we go. I'm gonna put them where there are people living. And I'm just gonna light it up all green. Where people are living and shopping all the way down this line. Yes, yes, yes. Light it up green. Definitely put one. Oop, I can't put one there. One there. And another one there. And I am gonna put streetcar stops in here. Oops, oh, of course I need one here. Um, and 
I'm gonna put them in here too. Ooh, hey, yeah, maybe you didn't see that. My windows went a little bananas there for a second. And you know, people need to get to work. It's just the way it is. People need to get to work and they're gonna ride the streetcar to get there. Definitely put one in front of the community college. garbage I don't know has Kate told me has Kate said something in the chat about how I'm make, putting down too many stops already I bet I am I bet you I am we take the streetcar to the streetcar depot I don't think so how am I green green across the board love it Love it. 14 minute average wait. Let's cry about it. Let's add, I'm gonna do something now. I'm gonna add a uh, high, excuse me, high wealth mall level. And then I'm gonna build a bunch of high wealth apartments on top of that. And meanwhile, I'm keeping this, now this elite mega tower is going strong. How many? How many things do I have? I can add another medium wealth apartment level. And that's what I'm going to do. Everything is coming up Max Fund Drive. Max Fund Tropolis is a boom town. Okay, now. We're going to be putting in tourist traps all in this area because this is where our railroad line is. And you want your transportation coming right in here. People will come in, go to the tourist destination and leave and they're not going to tramp through your city. So I'm going to go ahead and build a, you can take a, a high, German high speed rail station. And I'm going to put it put it right right here right here in the middle. Oh wait a minute! I might want to put the 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 municipal airport never works out for me. And look, like okay, I could put it there. Should I? Sure. Well, let's go ahead and put in a tourist attraction in order to make that work. I'm going to pick a good one. I'm going to pick one that is the Eiffel Tower. Sure. Tower versus tower. Or, what about the Willis Tower, formerly Sears Tower, the tallest building in the United States, medium tourist attraction. I want a high tourist attraction that's going to attract high wealth tourists. High tourist attraction. The Brandenburg Gate. It's very little. But if I put it on that side, people are going to be into it. What about the Arc de Triomphe? Also very little. Look at that. Yeah, Arc de Triomphe. Ba-bam. Don't worry, we'll get some of those biggies in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now this is connected by road. Now it's connected by rail. This could be so great. Seems to be some traffic going on here. 
need high wealth apartment levels. Thank you. Let's go over there and do that. Because I have that, I have this high wealth mall level, right? So I need a high wealth apartment level. That's happening now. You never had anything to worry about. Seems like wasted area over here. You know what? Well, let's put in the let's put in the train station that we were talking about. They say they they say that uh, it's overrated. The, the Germans don't deserve credit for the high-speed high rail. What do you think? Hmm? Now, see, if I had been smart, I would have done it this way. Although I might. But yeah, sorry, Arc de Triomphe. I don't love you there. Something else is going to happen. I know, don't worry, you're going to get something even better, everybody. Just give me those sad faces. Still like this better. See, the thing is, you got to connect this to a road once you put it in. Right, because if I want another runway, that's going to go in on the back side. So I don't want to just put that there so I remember. I have a passenger terminal. I don't care about cargo. Put a sign there. Municipal airport. And maybe I'll just tear that down and put in a blimp, honestly. So this, no, remember I wanted German high-speed rail. I don't know why. I just do. Let's go ahead and put something better in. I didn't like that Arc de Triomphe. Let's make it big. Let's go big. Or go residential. Yep. That's what I want right there. Holy moly. Everyone's excited about that. Now... What are you complaining about? Low on drones? I don't care about drones. I gotta get rid of those drones. I don't need any robots complaining to me about anything. Sewage is fine. Fire is fine. Why are you, what are you doing to me here? Public transport, please. High density, please. No, high density road is fine. High density street, I mean. Nice. And then this. Just like that. And get this pretty nicely there. Good. Oh, oh. How about it? People are going to be coming on the train. They're going to be so excited to come to my city, our city. They're going to be coming over this long train trestle. 
that made me like so excited to check out the Eiffel Tower. Utterly dwarfed by my elite mega towers, by the way. Are we gonna do what? Uh, stop yelling at me. Full sewage plant. Full sewage plant you. There it is. What are my options? Sanitizer tank, please. Yep, boink. Boink. Boink, you shall not get me down. Boink. Boink. Which I can do one in there. Yep, boink. And I'll keep it going. Boink. Oh, sorry, did you want to yell at me about too much sewage? This is about drones, right? Low on drones. Well, I'm going to solve that problem right now. No more drones, right? Drones, you get a bad feeling. Don't you? I do. I'm going to get rid of that drone garage. I'll put in a, a regular a regular garage instead. Uh-oh. No, I can't. Why? Oh, well. At least I don't have those drones yelling at me. Who knows what'll go in there? Well, I mean, I guess I could do this a little bit more efficiently, right? If I were to, if, nope. If I were to ding these and then build out, I think it'll probably sneak them in. I bet you I can sneak them all in that way. So we're gonna do three, four, and hazmat there we go and we'll do another hazmat no let's leave it there for now i'm maxed out on fire right just no more drones that's all i wanted no more drones good let's keep our mega towers uh growing remember we want to leave space for them yeah, that mall level's never going to be happy because I didn't. I didn't. Uh... That's all right. I'm just going to let them suffer. If I do, a, if I do a little bit, a little bit of zoning. Never been able to get those mega towers right. The problem is that the medium wealth mall is never gonna have enough medium wealth shoppers because I'm building elite, excuse me, high wealth apartments here. That's where the demand's at. There's also a lot of demand for low wealth. So why not? I mean, well, there's all these places here. We'll go ahead and just zone some more. Zone some more res. I don't know. Zoning a little commercial and a little res around this subway depot. See how it goes from there. What's happening? What's happening down here? Why aren't you folks getting? Density is growing. We love the new city buildings. What makes us happy? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Do I need to add bus stops over here? I do. School bus stops need to be here. So these, these folks can go to school. They can go to work, they can go to school. I noticed that we have a garbage problem. Perhaps we have a recycling problem. Where did I, did I put it in a recycling plant? No, I didn't, did I? Oh, yeah, there is one. 
I guess I just need more garbage trucks? Yeah, I do. They're gonna go right in over here very nicely. Recycling plant. Is this it? Sewage sanitizer. Oh, right. Recycling. We might as well start selling this plastic. Recycling, collection, truck, garage, reclamation, alloy reclamation line, metal, plastic reclamation line. Increase my recycling collection rate with an additional truck. How is this a recycling delivery truck? Okay, this is, we need a little of both here. So I need to remember how to sell plastic on the global market. Does anyone remember? Kate, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed because I'm stumped. Do I go over here? exports. Oh, build a trade lot. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. This is what I was looking for. I'm sorry for all these people who moved in here, but uh, I don't want you to live here anymore. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I don't want you to live here anymore. That's where my trade board's gonna be. So sorry, sorry. Can't believe that I forgot, manage. Uh, okay, add storage and I'm gonna add plastic, right? Plastic storage lot, please. What? What's this? Freight. I thought that I could put... Okay, fine. This is suboptimal. Why am I even bothering with this? I don't need to sell this plastic. I got all the money in the world. But why not? I don't love that though. Hmm. Can I sneak a trade board in there? Probably not. No, not, not with. No, this is the spot. This is the spot for my trade port. Like it or not, this is the spot. Sorry, gang. <laughs> Sorry, I made that noise. Gross and disgusting. Add a plastic lot, please. There we go. 
Now I will export that plastic. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kate. Why did I even build a recycling plant? I guess to be nice. Hey, it's 11 o'clock. Are you wondering what's happening? Let me tell you. My name is John Hodgman, and for the past two hours, I've been playing SimCity 2013, uh, a game that came out now 11 years ago, not long after the advent of a technology known as the Judge John Hodgman podcast. And consequently, sure, I'll add a medium level, we'll see what happens. Consequently, um, I've been able to speak to you week after week, <clears throat> judging your disputes both on the podcast and in the New York Times Magazine. It has been an utter delight for me to do that. And what's more, uh, it has been a privilege to be able to support myself in this way. But I don't support myself. You support me. And Jesse Thorne and Jennifer Marmer, and uh, our former social media person, Marie Barty Salinas, and our current social media person, Natty Lopez, and our editor, AJ McKeon, and our new video editor, Daniel Spear. Because now, with your support over the years, we have invested in creating a YouTube channel. You might be watching at this very moment, at Judge John Hodgman Pod slash streams for the live streams or just at Judge Jen Hodgman pod to watch the episodes because we're now videoing them and making them available as videos. And we can only do this with your support. 70% of our operating budget comes directly from our listeners. A small portion comes up from advertising, but what we have is a very, very wonderful listener base who have been very, very supportive and generous in the past. And consequently, I mean, the ads help, but they don't cover it by any means. 70% of our entire operating budget comes from you, the listener. And what's more, uh, becoming a monthly member helps us plan out our year considerably. That's why every two, every year around this time, we spend two weeks having fun and doing extra live streams and promoting different episodes and different podcasts in a network wide, <clears throat> pardon me, a network wide effort called hashtag max fun drive. It's that time of year when we simply ask you if you value the work that we provide for you and you're able to support us with money, this is the time to do it. Hashtag max fun drive, maximum slash joint. That's all I wanted to say about it. I will be doing, I begin recording Judge John Hodgman at 1230. So I'm going to do this for another hour. And I'll be doing this again on Wednesday morning. Tomorrow at noon, I'll be streaming just a more general stream, what we call a Max Fun Family Meeting, where I'll be talking to other hosts of Max Fun and listeners. Same on Thursday, same on Friday. And circle, you know, pencil circle Friday. If we meet our benchmark, Jordan Morris and I will eat some spicy cheese. All right. Dawn. Dawn has dawned on Max Funtropolis, a terrific tourist-based city, but we only have one tourist attraction so far, which is this here Eiffel Tower. How's it doing? Yeah. It's attracting quite a few tourists. We are profiting. We have millions of simoleons. I gained the system by giving myself a lot of money to begin with. And I'm going to keep gaming the system because you know what? It's a game. That's a glitch. Oh, no. This is some hill. That's a little hill outside of our outside of our area. Hmm. That is a dangerous place to land a plane, honestly. Between that tower and that hill. All right. That's fine, though. Look at this beautiful city that we built together. Live Him All says, thank you. I'm a proper adult now, laughing my A off. I graduated last year. 
I presume that's because it says, yeah, I finally got around to joining. Didn't have a job before, so I couldn't afford it. And I'm a big girl, so it's time. Thank you so much, my daughter, Liv Your dad, John Hodgson, says thank you. And of course, you know, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. That's just the way it goes. Like, I'm, I don't want to put anything behind a paywall. And we don't at Maximum Fun. So listen to it. Enjoy it. Spread the word. If you can't afford it, spread the hashtag. Hashtag Max Fun Drive. That's all I'm going to say about that. Hey, let's go back to the game. Looks like Jennifer Marmer's around. Yeah, there's Jennifer Marmer with an emoji. Say hi to Jennifer Marmer in the chat. Uh, this is a good question. I think the answer is 2000, maybe even 2009, maybe that early. Thanks everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna build some more apartment levels here, and then we're gonna take a little walk. Oh, the, look at the balloons going. Try to click on that. Here's another one. Oh, they're all going from here. See, see how the balloons are flying over the city like I told you they would. nice so many balloons boy oh boy I'm gonna rename this balloon town balloon you know what in honor of Paul F. Tompkins fancy balloon town Now we gotta save some room on these mega towers. Now everyone's happy there. Okay, good. What should I do? We still need high wealth. There we go. And it's time, I think, for a Skybridge station. These buildings are getting very high. Things are really happening in our town, everybody. Things are really happening. It's nighttime in fancy balloon town. I hadn't dare hope Joy of Zoning will be back. Absolutely my favorite Max Fun related content. Thank you so much. Did a modest boost on my membership this year and encourage others to do so. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back with more Max Fun, uh, excuse me, more Joy of Zoning on Wednesday morning. But I'm going to be doing this, I think, for another hour until noon, let's say. I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. Where are you? Sound off in the comments. All right, let's jack this up a little bit. Let's have some fun here. Let's have some fun with more tourism. Here we go. So we have the Eiffel Tower. We could put in Big Ben right here. Pretty hot. Okay, that's one. Medium tourist attraction. I want high tourist attraction. Medium tourist attraction. High tourist attraction. Big Ben is a high tourist. Arc de Triomphe, high tourist attraction. What about, what about Statue of Liberty? High tourist attraction. Two French things. What do you think? Should we put the Statue of Liberty there? Can we fit it in somewhere else? Oh, about right in front of the train station. <laughs> so dumb. Sure, right in front of the train station. Good. And then we can put in uh, something like... Where is the Empire State Building? Well, that's the... The Tokyo Tower. Lots of towers. Why not? Oh, 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 that's a medium tourist attraction. But I mean, look how good it looks there next to the... Right across the street from the Eiffel or Caddy Corner. Caddy Corner, I think, has got to be. Hey, where'd you go? Yes. 
<laughs> oh boy, oh boy. So many towers. Really, really what should be happening is this should be the Eiffel Tower and this should be the Tokyo Tower. So we're getting like, you see what I mean? So it's like going from small to large. I don't know. Maybe I don't like the Tokyo Tower there. I don't think I do. How much did it cost? You can see my computer's getting a little glitchy. The game's getting a little glitchy. I reached my limit with these tourist attractions. So is the, is the Tokyo Tower the one I want to... At 50,000 simoleons only, forget it. Not worth it. By the way, don't you think we should put some shops here? Right next to the Statue of Liberty? This year I'll get to see the Tokyo Tower lit up at night. Dream come true. Well, you won't get to see it in my town, Kate. Our town. Towers, I don't care. A couple of shops in here. People like that. People love shopping. If we're going to go big, bigger, biggest, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe we put the Empire State Building over there. Where is that guy? Here it is. Uh-huh. How's this look? Uh, I think it looks hot as hell. Would you agree? Yes. 100% agree. There we go. Three towers. Well, sort of. Maybe I should put Big Ben in here. Balance it out. Sorry, Statue of Liberty. I believe I just destroyed the Statue of Liberty, you guys. What was I thinking? Put Big Ben in there instead. There. I like that a lot. There we go. Representation of all nations. Uh, sort of. Yeah, all right. Now then. Oh, that's as far back as we go. How are we doing this tower? We have happiness. Let's top it off with a tourism crown. Or what? What kind of crown do we want? Hologram advertising crown? That's just tacky. Boost resin satisfaction per park crown visit with additional park crowns in the region. What do you think? I mean, this is a tourist city, right? Let's do this one. There we go. Meanwhile, back at this one. What are we going to do with Tower 2. We are now at, we can build one more apartment level, and that's going to be high wealth. There's a lot of empty space in my city, you know. What are we going to do with it all? we're gray across the board here. Everyone's more or less satisfied. So let's keep building. Who knew I just needed to wake up at 6 a.m. to watch John Hodgman zone some imaginary cities? I knew. I knew I had to do it. All right. Now, I think... 
we're in a spot where we can build a, a sky bridge station. Yep. Sky bridge station commence. Hey, my circles turned out pretty good. Our circles, I should say. I mean, you can see how inelegant this is, right? Like these buildings are meant to snap to a grid. They are not great for density, but they do look fun. What's this? That's a market. See how these little, these little guys, they can't really do much there. So why shouldn't I put in a park, you know? Something like an excitatorium in here. I'll make everyone feel good. Something like, uh, uh, oh, a large urban sculpture garden, T uh, tiered urban green space. Uh, I don't like that. That infringes. No, nope. do something like this medium sculpture garden. Put that right here. There we go. Everyone's getting a little happier over there. Johnny Hardhat's yelling at me. What's about worker shortage? Some buildings do not have enough workers to operate. Where is this happening? Who's complaining to me about that? Hmm. Looks like you stopped complaining. We got a mega tower problem. Need medium wealth apartment levels. Right. Right oh. So I guess I guess in this one over here, I'm gonna have to Hey, come back here. I guess I need to add a medium wealth level here. Skybridge Station. Oh dear, dear. And get rid of this high wealth apartment level. I'll replace that with a medium wealth one now. I don't want to destroy the whole tower. Thank you very much. It's funny that the medium wealth is going to be above the high wealth here, but that's the way it goes. We got a blimp checking out this here Empire State Building. That's nice. needs in terms of population what is the where is the demand right now low wealth mm. Mm. Uh, what am I gonna do about low wealth well this is kind of a bad area over here to build but I'll just call that just add a little a little of that there Let's see We're only profiting by 36, 35,000 simoleons per hour. And let's go ahead and put a little, a little more zoning in here. Let's fill in this a little bit.
I have a little park over here. What is that? That household. zoning here, I think. Uh. What do you think should go in here? Another mega tower? Oh, I was going to finish that mega tower. Thanks for reminding me. Breathe. Got to add that sky bridge level. Maybe that mall will never be happy. Skybridge Station, please. Start construction. All right. Let's go down the line. Energy. We got more than we need. Water. Plenty. Su uh oh, sewage! What are you telling me here? We need more. We need more sewage. Do I? Do I need to build another sewage station? Sure, why not? I like to make this look nice, if possible. City Hall module available. We don't have a mayor's mansion. We're in the green on garbage. We are fine with that. We are zero deaths per day. That's the way I like it. Who cares about you? Oh, we never did add that superhero. Maxis Manor. Where's Maxis Man going to be? Remember Maxis Man? Max's man trains his body and mind to detect Dr. Vu here when he's not responding to crime. Fire or injury. If Max's man captures Dr. Vu, he holds him captive. I've never been attacked by Dr. Vu, the evil villain. And I find Max's man to be very tiresome. Honestly. Because he never really does much. Perhaps, though, we could put What's this all about? Yeah. Perhaps we could put a little, a little something. You know, our old friend the gnome, though, would fit in nicely somewhere here, right? <laughs> he seems to really want to be there, right? Kinda. waving. Oh, what fun we have. Okay. Now, here's something that I don't think we ever got around to last year. Which was adding, first of all, we'll add a, a crown. Biodome Park? Hologram, I don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't need any energy. Don't need any air pollution. Biodome Park. Go for it. They're going to be happy about that. And now we have two Sky Bridge stations at the top of these things so that people can go back and forth. There goes a little balloon. You're in fancy balloon town. It's kind of hard to see these. I mean, these mega towers are mega. How can we see them? There we go. So you see these little, you see these tubes coming out? Okay, 
that's a sky bridge too. Hang on. I learned to mute myself there. And I think to access, what are you telling me, Johnny? Worker shortage, worker shortage, who cares? But you know what the problem is? We have a lot of low wealth residential demand. And I think I know what I'm gonna do about that in a second. And we have a lot of high wealth residential demand. And I think I know what I'm gonna do about that in a second. But our commercial demand, our industrial demand is chef's kiss. But I want to complete the sky bridge because it's fun. Oh, I think that I got to do this in this, in this pane. Yes, yes, I know. I want to look. There we go. Sky Bridge Connection. Oh, hang on to your hats. It's a Sky Bridge Connection. What are you yelling at me about? You need apartment levels. Where? Some buildings do not have enough workers to operate at apartment levels. I can't, friend. I can't. Is it this tourist tourism crown that's causing the trouble? Maybe they don't have enough. You know what? I'll tell you what. I don't need it. Maybe I don't need that tourism crown. Maybe what I need over there is another biodome park crown. And that will maximize satisfaction. That's kind of a screenshot, right? Let me build this max, this biodome crown. That will boost residential satisfaction per park crown. That's good. Then we have matching, dare I say, twin towers. It's a city of towers. It's a city of lights. It's Paris, London, New York City, and fancy balloon town all in one. All in one. There we go. Look at, oh, look at the moon. Oh, we like the moon. I don't think I've ever seen the moon look so beautiful. But how can I get a picture of that? Um, Minus, please. There we go. Oh, it went away. What? Well, the moon went away. Well, for another night, I suppose. Um, I really wish you wouldn't do what you just did. Stop it. Stop. No. There we go. There we go. Not, this is not phallic at all. Oh boy. What have I done? What have I done? I'm just going to take a screenshot here. This is the worst. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a. 
This is a little bit, this is a little bit cooler. Try to get some of that tilt shift in effect. There we go. There we go. That's, look at that. Look at all our towers. All lined up. That's not the way I wanted it. Shot for later. Oops. There is not a dis I don't know if there's a disaster movie about the moon going away, but there is, of course, Space 1999, which is a science fiction movie about the moon going away. And then there is also Seven Eves, which is a Neil Stevenson book that begins with the moon exploding, which is not good news. There you go. This is looking pretty fun, pretty good right now. Let's take a walk through. Let's take a little walk through our town. See how things look on the ground level. Here we have trains coming. This is as close as I can get to the ground. There we are. Here, one of, the, one of these people talking about da Dave and Patrick is enjoying the fresh air. So is Rebecca Carter. So is Jude Cox. I like it. I like that fresh air. I'm going to slow it down a little bit here. To llama speed. Uh, who are these weirdos? This this makes me nervous. Keep it. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're park workers. I thought they were a cult. Some unused land here. This is. I can strain my neck to look. Everyone's happy in that mega tower. Good. Take a walk over here. I was saying to someone visiting from Maine that the Empire State Building is maybe not worth going to. It's quite cramped inside. It's a very old building. And even on top, it's pretty, pretty small. That observation area up there is pretty small. I think it'd be pretty claustrophobic. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to go to the I bet you there aren't many people using it. Yeah, only 360 tourists. I will destroy that. We'll turn that into a, a blimp area. I like blimps. So 
slow it down even more. Just be chill as nighttime comes here. As nighttime comes to fancy balloon town. Just take a walk through this industrial area here. People are totally using these streetcars. It's incredible. Love them. Can we follow them? No. Can I follow the streetcar, though, is what I want to know. No. Let's go check out our fusion reactor. A beautiful sight by night. Garbage trucks. Oh, excuse me, that's the garbage dump. Those are the fancy garbage atomizers that I promised you. Huh. Oh, this is the fusion reactor here. It's hot as hell. It's weird how. <laughs> yeah. Is there a sign or something I can add to it? Anything missing here? Nope. Sure is making a lot of fusion. Let there be no confusion. <laughs> Dads are funny. I'm getting some sewage updates here. Full sewage plan. I just added one. I mean, honestly. What more can I do? City Hall? Anyone protesting? Fully upgraded. I mean, there's no reason for me to add any of these and take up space. But I don't have a, hel a, a helicopter pad, so I'll take one. Thanks. Who knows? Mm. Let's go get down, down to street level. Let's be a person of the people here. Love it. Mommy said to come straight home. Has been educated. Not talking to strangers on the way home, says Conrad Pruitt. Looking for a better career. Imagine. Can you imagine writing all these storylines? Do you remember last year? We had a fellow on who had helped design the vehicles, I believe it was. Remember we put that little park, that little pond there? Price Estate. Fancy. One of the fancy glowing slugs they have on, they have on their roof. I guess that's because of fusion. That's how they they get the fusion power? I don't know. Oh, I was going to check out the balloon park. Come on. Let's take a walk in a circle. Let's get over to our circles before we go. It's 11.39 here. This is the joy of zoning. And every now and then, basically once annual play. What's this fish thing here? What is going on here? Uh, it's a play along. SimCity 2013. My name is John Hodgman. I play. You watch along. Uh, it's not exactly a speed run, it's a slow run. Because the idea here is just to mellow out on a Monday morning. To zone out while I'm zoning industrial, commercial, and residential zones here in the city that we call Fancy Balloon Town in the region known as Max Fun Epelago. Max Fun Drive Epelago. That's what it should be called, the region. I'm going to be wrapping it up for the morning pretty soon. Before I go, I don't know. What do you want to have happen next? What should I build? Put it in the comments. I can build anything. 
here's the balloon park. That's a pretty good shot, right? The balloon park is closed right now, of course, because it's nighttime. But maybe we should take a look at, maybe we should take a look at that gnome by the moonlight, that terrifying giant gnome. What's his name or their name? there in oh, this tree crotchal area. Obviously we're gonna get this picture. Where is the oh, holy, I'm sorry to swear. There we go, wow. Intense, incredible. People are saying it should be called Nomi McNome Face. I don't disagree. Have a, oh, I'm sorry. I, I left the comments on there. Llama says, I hate it. Uh, I don't know whether that's referring to something in the chat or me. Noam Chomsky. No, thanks. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. Wow. Look, Stacy Mitchell said it. I didn't. N Nathan the Gnome. Yeah, you didn't know that that gnome waves? Last year when we made the city with a gnome in it, it had stopped waving for some... <laughs> oh, it's getting a little salty for a sun Saturday, Monday morning. Norman. I'm going to call him Jesse Thorne until I come up with something better. So let's just chat for a second before I take off. My name is John Hodgman. This has been, so far, a wonderful experience playing SimCity 2013 with you. <clears throat> a little not particularly uh, regularly scheduled show called The Joy of Zoning. Maybe I need to stop a little earlier than noon so that I can recharge for the podcast I'm about to record, the two podcasts I'm about to record. Let's see if this triggers the balloons. There we go. Um, so uh, before I go, I can build one more thing. If there are any nominations, let me know. Uh, in the meantime, just again a little reminder that this is the Max Fun Drive. Uh, and if you are a supporter, if you're a listener to Judge John Hodgman, you'd like to support us or any Maxwin podcast. This is the time. This is the second week of only two weeks. Balloons, please. That we come to you and ask for your direct support. Why? Because we need it. We do have ads. But there are two things about the ads. They don't pay as much as you might think. A. And B. There are some ads that we don't want to have to take. There are some ads that we stopped running because we realized we didn't love those companies. When I talk about like Made In and Brooklyn In, I like those companies. I really do. I have good stuff. We're able to be choosy about that stuff 
because 70% of our operating budget as a show and as a network comes from you, the presumed listener. That's a big percentage. And the benefit of that is that we work for you. We are not tailoring content to anything but what you respond to and what you like. And of course, it keeps your dad in Hartford Whaler hats and uh, CPO shirts from Best Made. It's about the fairest way we know how to do it. And the good news is that while there have been major layoffs across all of podcasting and the ad market in podcasting has also really, I'm not going to say cratered, but it has gone down considerably. And all of that venture capital money that bought podcasts and podcast network and accumulated them into brands like Spotify or whatever, not to name any in particular. But, you know, this podcast boom in venture capital money is kind of busting, but not for Max Fun. Max Fund's pledge drive system is not for everybody. There are other ways to fund podcasts. But one thing I can say for sure is that we've been doing this now for more than a decade. And the shows and the podcasters and the employees of Max Fund, we may not have had like the massive amount of money that some people made during that boom, but we've had thanks to you been able to stay the course and keep people employed and keep podcasts going in a very stable way, even a little bit of growth. Corporations chase growth more than anything. And that's why I don't like to work for corporations because all I want to do is survive. That's all any of us really should do. Put the work out there that we love and if possible, survive. You've made that possible now for Judge John Hodgman and me and our employees for Judge John Hodgman, Jennifer Marmer, <clears throat> Daniel Spear, AJ McKeon, Natty Lopez, uh, earlier Julia Smith, Marie Barty Salinas, uh, Val uh, Moffat, uh, so many others who have, uh, uh, Mark McConville, who have worked for Judge John Hodgman over the years, editing and providing support, touring support. All of those people who you never or rarely hear from on mic, you pay them. And I'm very grateful because I care about them and I couldn't do it without them. Never mind Jesse Thorne. Like all of the podcasts on Maximum Fun, Judge John Hodgman is owned by its creators. In this case, Jesse and me. That means that the IP is ours and doesn't belong to any corporation, never mind Maximum Fun. Meanwhile, Maximum Fun is a network and all of the uh, all of the in-house producers, all of the in-house community managers, business developers, all of the in-house um, uh, helpers of all kinds, they are also paid and now they are owners of the network because it's now an employee-owned cooperative. I think it's a pretty good deal. Max Fun Drive has always worked very, very well for us. And I cannot say again how grateful I am. I cannot say enough how grateful I am for your support over all these years. If you are able to, if you've never joined before, this is the, the time that we ask you to do it. We'll shut up about it at the end of this week. Maximumfun.org slash join. If you are unable to join or boost or upgrade or whatever, got it. Totally love you. But if you're a new listener and you didn't know that this is how we make the podcast, this is how we make the podcast. This is how we keep it going. So if you're a new listener and you have the means and you've never joined before, please go to MaximumFun.org slash join. All right. Uh... Memphis Odin and Kate are talking about the fact 
that when you become a member of Maximum Fun, by going to MaximumFun.org slash join, you decide how much you want to contribute and you direct those funds to the shows that you listen to directly. So, you know, if you're listening to more than one show or maybe you don't like Judge John Hodgman, you should still go over there, support the Flophouse or whatever it is. Thanks to the whole JJHO and MFHQ teams, we changed lives. That's very kind. Thank you. All right. But did anyone nominate something for me to build in here? What's happening in this city? It is... All right. In nine minutes, I'm going to keep it going all the way to noon. Then I'm going to eat a, like a dozen scrambled eggs and drink a gallon of water. And then I'm going to record a really fun Judge John Hodgman uh, today. Today. And then I'll be back tomorrow with a live stream at noon Eastern. Uh, we're uh, we're going to, it's going to be a Max Fun family meeting. We're going to talk to other Max Fun hosts and listeners just like you can come in. So far, it's been open phones and it hasn't been bad. Hasn't been bad yet. Wednesday, I will return to this city and maybe start building another one. Day is dawning on this gnome, Jesse Thorne. I think I know what I want to do. I think I know what I want to do. Uh, Kate wants to zone around the European landmarks, change the way the buildings look. That's true. So let's do that. I'm still waving. Let's take a look. I now have 7 million simoleons. It's gray across the board. There's a so-called worker shortage. No one wants to work anymore. Uh, yeah, like, if I were to zone, if I were to zone residential here, I mean, it's sh around Big Ben or around, around the Eiffel Tower, it should, these buildings should start looking French or British. So let me rezone over here and see if I can do that. I'm not sure you're going to see an effect right away. Or at all. Maybe this is too far away. I don't know. But let me unzone this here. And let me get rid of these guys. And let me zone residential here. See if that does anything. And since we're here and I want to do it, I don't know if that's going to make them look British or what. But I definitely want to add another gnome. I just do. That's for you. You know what? Not good enough. Not enough. Not enough gnome. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted right there. Oh, this is a great way to end. Three gnomes, three gnomes. We, we should definitely fill in this area over here. And we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, excuse me. Get rid of this. It's been fun building this city with you. Thank you. We'll be back on Wednesday. Thanks for listening to my my talking. They stopped waving. No, they're still waving. 
They're waving with their left hand like I am. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, this has been the Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. If you want to make sure that you hit all of our streams from Judge John Hodgman, do me a favor. Go to the YouTube channel, at Judge John Hodgman Pod, all capital letters. Smash that subscribe, smash that like, smash that notifications. Even if you turn it off at the end of the Max Fun Drive, you don't want to miss these streams. They're a lot of fun. And I'm only doing them during the Max Fun Drive because I do have other work to do. I do have to record the Judge John Hodgman podcast from time to time. Until then, all I can say is thank you so much. Thanks for keeping it civil in the chat. Huge audience today. I'm really, really grateful to see all of you. If you do one thing between now and the rest of the day, please tell someone about the Max Fun Drive. How about that? Boost a post. If you see me posting about it, whatever it is. If you can't become a member today, and I hope you can, or if you can't gift a membership to someone who can't afford it, I hope you will consider just spreading the word. Otherwise, I just have fun doing this, and it's been so much fun. I'm so glad I did my homework over the weekend and I got to spend this time with you. Okay. That's all. Say goodbye to your dad, John Hodgman. Maybe I was saying the wrong thing. It's Max Fun Drive. I know, it's Max Fun Drive. What did I say? Max Fun Time? It's been Max Fun Time, too. See you later. Bye-bye.